Hi, this is Ron Tube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, we're making a magpie goose hunting guide at Emerald Coast, Australia. I've been figuring out how they work. I think I've got it down, so I'm going to let you know how to get on with magpie geese. Now, I've got some above us. I've got my magpie goose caller. I've got a nice location now. One of the things about magpie geese is they've got great visibility and they spook pretty easy. They also live where saltwater crocodiles do. So there's a few things you have to do to try and get them to land where your decoys are. We'll go over my setup in a minute. I'm just going to try and call some of these in and see if we can take a few out. Now magpie geese are active mostly in the early morning and the late afternoon. That's when you want to be hunting them. You don't need to go and find all need zone times. You don't really need them at all. And there's only a few of them actually. Uh, they're very hard to find. I've got some need zone times. We will go over them in a minute, but you don't really need to hunt them. Just hunt early morning and late afternoon. Now, weapon wise, I'm using the Kuso shotgun and the 22 LR in case they're really far out. They can drop close like these are. They can drop far out. It's really random where they drop. So you just gotta be able to pick out the ones you want. I'd try and get two. Aim for two out of a group because they fly all different ways. And as you'll see, you're probably not going to get more than two out of a group anyway. They do fly over frequently, so it's not too bad. But I have shot up to 80 meters uh, out with the Kuso from here, so that's pretty far. But the 22 LR can go a bit further if you need to. Let's go collect these and have a look at our first magpie geese. Now, as I was saying, look at this. Saltwater crocodiles are all around these locations, and you need a trick or a few of these tips I'm going to give you to help get these to land. But as you can see, it's a male. They're class one. That's the shotgun I'm using, the Cuso. That's a gold. And this is for a diamond. They do look really nice, as you can see. But yeah, I've been developing a few techniques while I've been hunting for them for the last few days, seeing what works the best. And... Uh, Basically, you just need to get rid of the saltwater crocodiles from wherever you're going to hunt them so you can get them to land. Otherwise, they'll drop halfway down and once you see them go halfway down and fly back up, you know you've got saltwater crocodiles around your setup. So you need to get rid of them. This one's uh, gold as well. I think fours can actually make diamond as well. So it's worth shooting the fours if you see them, just in case, you never know. But they're going to be a lot of fun. But like I say, the key is you've got to get those saltwater crocodiles out of the way from your setup. Now the variants I've had up to yet are orange and I've had maroon. They're the only ones I've had up to yet, but I don't know what the total list is of rare varieties. But these are the varieties I've had. So here's a female. They all add up for cash. What's this one here? Let's have a look. And here's a maroon. So I wanted a couple of males really because I'm doing the multi-man. We're going to have a look at that later on in the video. Also the map, where to find them. They're basically in the swamp areas where the saltwater crocodiles are. That's where you find them. Now here's the tricks for getting rid of saltwater crocodiles. Now because I've got bird shot on, it's cheap. You can fire all the way round. Let loads of shots off. Spook whatever's around. Also what I do is I've got the ATV behind me. So I jump on the ATV like I'll do in a minute. And then I'll just drive around for a bit. And that spooks anything else in the area. Basically I'm just trying to get rid of them. You can just go around, find your saltwater crops, shoot them. But there's so many of them and you might not find them all. Like I say, you know when there's one about because the geese will drop half height fly off if they do that you need to do what I've just done I just do this every now and again and it seems to work fine now here's the magpie geese decoys you want 20 of them for max attraction we'll have a look at them in the store now you want a water blind as well or any kind of blind to sit in a lay down blind will work well but you do need the blind because they spook quite easily they've got very good vision and sensors so let's have a look at the magpie geese caller first, then we'll have a look at the magpie geese decoys. Where is it? Can we go and buy it? Now we're too far down, aren't we? There we go. 
So here's a Magpie Goose Caller. Range up to 500 meters and it lasts for 25 seconds in attraction. Now let's have a look at the decoys. Magpie Geese decoys, where are you? Come too far again, here we go. So there's three different types, it doesn't matter which ones you use. Range of attraction is up to 500 meters, so that would be cooler, really works well. And you want 20 for max attraction. Use whichever blind you want to use, whether it's a layout blind or whether you want to use a waterfowl blind. They both work, but you do need to use one. Here's the weapons I'm using. So I've got the 22 LR. That's for long range shots if I need to do them. And there's a trophy animal, trophy magpie goose. Also, I've got the Cuso model 1897 Ranchero. There's lots of different shotguns but that's up to you which you want to use but that's what i'm using so you need magpie goose caller a blind 20 decoys and your weapons right let's go to the codex have a look at the wildlife we'll see the magpie geese this will help you out it's very useful the codex so come here you will learn lots of things class one so you can see about the behavior they're very vocal the habitat they're shallow wetlands, uh, mires, coastal rivers, sort of the mangroves basically. Excellent vision, good hearing and smell. This is what I mean. They're very sharp, um, so they they spook quite easy. As you can see, they're active early morning to late afternoon. So that's when you want to be hunting them. Class 1 ammo, magpie goose caller and magpie goose decoys. That's what the equipment you want to be using. So that's all the details about the magpie geese. Let's um, have a look at location, shall we? See where you find them, because obviously you want to know all about that. So this is where I am in this mangrove, right on the front of it, near the shoreline. Basically, they're in the mangroves and where the sort of mangroves go up to meet the sort of little river. That's where they sort of stop. I'll show you a detailed map in a minute. I've made an image. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can download it if you want to. But we're going to have a look at it now as well anyway. And uh, I hope it helps you out find magpie geese. It's pretty simple. They're just in the mangroves. So this is where they're at. So where the white is, that's where they mainly go. So where the saltwater crocodiles are, that's where the magpie geese are. And that's why you need to spook them off or either kill them so you get the magpie geese to land at your setup. It seems to work quite well, what I've been doing. At first, I was like, they don't land, they don't land. How do you get them to land? Then I started thinking of ways to get rid of the crocodiles. And I thought it's actually quicker to spook them and then actually hunt them all. So as you can see, the feed zone is 9 in the morning till 11. And the rest zone is 3 till 5 in the afternoon. But you don't really need to pay attention to them. Just hunt in the early morning and late afternoon. Right. So let's have a look at this multi-man. There's two new multi-mounts in this update. I love that pose for the kangaroos. That's called Roomball. And this is the one with the magpie goose in. I did have a look at this in the Saltwater Crocodile Guide. Check out my guide. I've been already seen them for Emerald Coast. I've got quite a few of them. But this is it. Lucky Crocodile. It's an XL common. Two trophies needed. And it's 3,900. And it's a Saltwater Crocodile male and a male magpie goose. We'll have a look at it now and we'll just show you that. The other one is called Roomball and you need two male kangaroos. But we're not doing kangaroos today. I have done a kangaroo guide, check that out if you've already seen it. I'm going to be doing all the species. I'm trying to get them all ready for launch. I'll get a lot of them done for launch, but uh, don't worry, Ron's busy on it. Let's have a look at this multi-mount, shall we? It is one of my favourite multi-mounts I've ever seen in the game. It's absolutely stunning. Can't wait to get either a rear of both and do a multi-man or diamond of both. Which do you reckon I should go for? What are you going to go for? Let me know in the comments. What combination? My favourite poses are the one where he's just trying to swallow him, which it was kept in, and this one where he's just swooping down. The crocs just missed him. He's just evading him. The devs have really done well with this update. 
it's gonna be such a great update i think it's one of the best we've ever had the map is absolutely amazing it's different everywhere you go a lot of fun the species are really fun to hunt we've got new multi mats got the great one fallow deer i'll be jumping on that soon i can't wait that's my most wanted great one um for a very long time there's only probably mule deer great one but i want more than fallow deer great ones so i can't wait to start hunting them i'll be doing a new guide on that as well but uh, this pose is so good so what do you think? Let me know in the comments about the magpie geese. That's my favourite one. They're really fun to hunt. They're a little tricky to hunt, but that's why I made this guide to help you out. So I've been playing the Hunter Coral Wild, making a magpie goose guide at Emerald Coast, Australia. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.